welcome back to my channel, my name is Tam and welcome to the fourth episode of Plum Bob Talk with Tam. Thank you so much for coming here, uh, this series has been really 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 good on my channel and I think that people like this series, I love to film it, this is one of my favorite series on my channel currently and I am excited every single time when I see some news about The Sims because I know that I will have something to cover for this episode. So this is episode number 4, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this series, if you want to see more of, more of these videos, this is a well, really 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 uh, well received series on my channel. I didn't actually expect it to go so well, but it actually is going pretty pretty well and thank you guys so much for liking it. Also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. I post mainly The Sims videos and I am extremely excited about the City Living Expansion Pack as you probably know already because uh, I have a lot of new content planned and I cannot wait for the game to come out. Also. I will uh, do my channel um, revamp when the expansion comes out. We are going to uh, I'm going to introduce you guys a bunch of new content and stuff like that. So uh, I am really really excited. Also, one more thing that I want to say about the City Living expansion: um, I'm not going to play it on November 1st because I'm not from America. I'm from Europe actually, and the game is going to be available for me on November 3rd. I am actually extremely sad about that because I really 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 wanted to play it on November 1st but that is not a possibility right now so um, the expansion is coming on to my channel on November 3rd but here's the hint I'm going to cover the launch day um, I'm going to do the pump up talk a lot launch day uh, basically, I'm going to talk about everything that I learned about the expansion from other simmers. I'm going to talk about a bunch of other simmers and stuff like that. I will uh, tell you about the uh, news about city uh, city living, uh, every every people, uh, every everyone's opinions, basically, and stuff like that. So, uh, without further ado, ado, let's get to the this episode of Plum Plum Talk number four. I had a lot of stuff to say before I begin this, but now we are going to talk about. Um, what we're going to talk about festivals so yesterday they announced festivals on the sims page uh, official youtube page and you can see the trailer in the background it's running um, constantly it's just going to be on the loop because i have a lot of a lot a lot a lot to talk about this so Basically, every single area in San Maishuno is going to have its own festival. We are going to get five festivals for, f for five different areas, and I think that these festivals are really, really good. Uh, uh, actually, there is uh, an article on the Sims page that covers one of the festivals, and I'm going to talk about it when I get to that festival in particular. So, as I said, there are five different festivals in uh, in this uh, city, San Maishuno, and they are basically new attractions in the, uh, in the City Living Expansion Pack, and they send um, Sims to the diverse, uh, basically diverse city to mi mix, mingle, learn new, new things, and make friends. Um, also, uh, Sims uh, team uh, uh, announced that they are going to talk about a more uh, bunch of other festivals than this one that is on their page right now this week. So I think that I will cover that in the next episode, but we are going to uh, see. So uh, there are five festivals in the city, in the Sims 4 city living. I cannot talk today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Basically, uh, the festivals are Geekon, Humor and Hijacks, Spice Festival, uh, Romance Festival, and Flea Market. I think that my favorite festival is definitely going to be Geekcon because I am a geek myself, and I think that this is going to be really interesting. This festival is actually really, really well attached to the new career that I was talking about last week, and the new career is actually the social media one, and uh, at every festival you're going to get a bunch of um, activities that you can do especially on that uh, on that festival. So for example on Geek Geekcon you are able to participate in um, hacking events, so hacking competition and you can also play games and um, uh, participate in competition about games and stuff like that. And I think that that is really interesting and also social media um, A-lister can cover the festival for her 
her slash his blog and stuff like that. So I think that that is going to be a great addition to the game. So basically, uh, you can work and have fun at the same time. Uh, also, every single festival is going to uh, have their own special uh, collectibles. So you can collect snow globes, um, t-shirts, and posters. And every single festival is going to have an exclusive uh, snow globe t-shirt and festival that you can get only on that festival. And I'm not sure how the festivals are going to work. Are they going to happen at the same time uh, in every single area or what is going to happen? But I think that that is a really good addition to the game. Uh, another festival that I'm going to talk about today is Humor and Hijinks Festival. And this is actually the festival that Singuru Rodiek covered on the blog. We don't have much about it, but I'm going to tell you what he uh, told us on the Sims 4 news page. So, uh, I'm going to read this. And does your sim have a great joke to tell? Perhaps they love delivering a good prank. Well, the Humor and Hijinks Festival is for the silly pranksters, a sim we all know and some of us love. Humor and hijinks is really a competition between two groups of supremacy during the festival. Your sim can declare their allegiance by drinking the light or dark teas, which set them on specific team. Then it's all about telling jokes to split the sides of others or causing mayhem with all mischievous tools available. So basically, we're going to have two sides in this festival. We're going to have the one who enjoy humor and the one who enjoy... Um, who enjoy mischief and mayhem and stuff like that. And I think that that's really interesting, especially if you have an evil sim and they can actually join the uh, hijinks side of the festival and that is going to be really interesting. Um, I think that this is definitely not one of my favorite festivals in the game. I don't know. I'm really not the fan of pranks and stuff like that, but I will definitely try it and see what is going to happen. Another festival that uh, really draw my attention to is the Spice Festival, where you can have a food competition, and actually they told us that they, they are introducing a new trait uh, that is going to be um, linked to this festival, and that trait is a vegetarian trait, and that trait is... Uh, kind of interesting and kind of funny. I personally am not a vegetarian. I don't think I will ever be, but I think it's a really good addition. You can make your sims be vegetarian and eating just plant-based food. So yeah, I think that that's something interesting and fun. And also, uh, every single time when you try a recipe, you are going to, uh, not recipe, try a meal, you're going to learn that recipe uh, in the game. And that is a really good addition also. And this festival uh, has a huge amount of food cards that I talked about two episodes ago or something ago or something like that also, you're going to have a special poster, a special snow globe that is a new collectible in the game, and a special t-shirt. So, that is about the Spice Festival. The next festival is the Romance Festival, where your sims can meet their, um, meet their soulmate, and they can actually uh, mingle, socialize, and even get married at the end of the festival, because I saw that the uh, location of the festival has a wedding arch. So that sounds really, really interesting. Also, we are getting a new trait that is going to be linked to this festival, and that tra trait is unflirty. We had that in Sims 3, if I'm not mistaken, and it, it is really funny to, to watch a sim who is unflirty to try to flirt. So I think that that's going to be a good addition. Also, we are going to get the romance guru who is probably going to help us find a soulmate and tell us something about our future maybe and something like that. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. That is definitely my second favorite festival in the game. And the last festival that we are going to talk about today is the flea market, you guys. So yeah, finally we can sell our stuff. We can sell our collectibles, we can sell our furniture that we handmade on the woodworking table, we can sell our pumpkins, and yeah, I think it's going to be really interesting. You can actually trade um, collectibles that you find in the world for some that you are missing, so you can finish your collections like that. I don't know if that, if it, if that is going to be expensive, but it's a really good addition for the for once uh, for those who wants to finish the collection. I really think that that's going to be um, a great addition. And also on these festivals, as you as you probably know, you can sell your paintings, you can sell I don't know a bunch of other stuff. 
I'm hoping that we can sell our cookies and stuff like that. So I, I think it's going to be really interesting. This is, uh, I think that this is everything that I have to talk about today. It is a pretty short update because we didn't learn a, a lot about it. We just learned uh, how many festivals are we going to get and a couple of things about one of the festivals. So, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know in the comments down below which festival do you like the most uh, and which festival are you going to try first. I think that the festival I'm going to try first is going to be Geekon and after that I'm going to try Romance Festival. After that, Flea Market because I definitely have a family that I want to um, get there and finish a couple of collections. And after that, I will try the Spice Festival and Humor and Hijacks. Uh, hijinks, sorry. Hijinks, uh, humor and hijinks is definitely something that I'm going to try the last. It is simply not appealing to me. I'm not saying that it's not good, but it's not appealing for me. And I'm a more um, oriented toward geek con and romance festival because I'm a geek and I'm romantic, definitely. So I think that this is expansion is going to be great. It would be great that I can get it on November 1st, but unfortunately it is not a possibility right now. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Do you enjoy these Plum Bob Talk with Them episodes? Do you want them to be frequent? Do you, do, well, if you don't like them, please tell me that as well, because I like any type of feedback, whether it's bad or good. I don't mind bad comments. I think that they are improving us and yeah. That's going to be everything for now. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you have anything to say to me. That is going to be everything for now. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!